the iconic James Webb Space Telescope is finally launched in space, and being one of the most complex and amazing devices, it is going to completely revolutionize the space industry. Among its many missions of seeing the first light to the creation of this universe, James Webb is also going to prove Stephen Hawking's theory on the origin of the universe. Even though he was not able to see the launch of this masterpiece and died in 2018, this telescope might prove his final words about the multiverse. So, let's talk about it. Welcome to Cosmos Lab, your one station for all the news from space. Join us in today's video to find out how the iconic James Webb Space Telescope might prove the great multiverse theory. On December 25th, 2021, NASA launched its all-new James Webb Space Telescope, marking the successor to the famous Hubble Telescope as the agency's new flagship mission in astrophysics. Scientists believe that the telescope will provide higher resolution and sensitivity over its predecessor called the Hubble Telescope, allowing scientists to observe some of the most distant events and objects in the universe, including the formation of the first galaxies. The telescope will allow scientists to gaze back 200 million years to observe how our universe appeared 200 million years after the Big Bang. The telescope will catch images of some of the first galaxies to form. It will also be able to see within the dust clouds to discover where new stars and planets are forming, as well as study the atmospheres of planets circling other stars. It will also be able to monitor objects in our solar system, all the way from Mars. The telescope will mainly look at the universe in the infrared, competing with its predecessor, the Hubble Telescope, which has examined the universe at optical and ultraviolet wavelengths. In addition, Webb has a much bigger light-collecting area, letting it look at greater distances, and therefore further back in time than Hubble. Recently, NASA published the first images captured by the telescope. These five images truly reflect James Webb's capability in space and how it will help study the deepest and darkest places in the universe easily. Moreover, with the first images, the hope of the researchers and scientists went even higher and they are waiting to unravel the unsolved mysteries of the universe seeing the first stars and galaxies and the origins of this universe. Talking about the origin of this universe, Professor Stephen Hawking was also working on one such theory before he died. The paper is titled A Smooth Exit from Eternal Inflation, and Hawking worked on it in collaboration with Professor Thomas Hertog from KU Leuven. The paper was published in 2018 in the Journal of High Energy Physics, and was submitted by the professor just a few days before his death. Based on string theory, Hawking's theory predicts that the universe is infinite and significantly simpler than many current theories concerning the Big Bang. The theory revolves around a cosmic paradox created by the late physicist. It also paves the way for astronomers to discover evidence of the existence of parallel universes. So, now with the James Webb Telescope in space, scientists might be able to prove the theory. BBC reported that the Cambridge scientists, along with US physicist James Hartle, devised a new concept on the origins of the universe in the 1980s. This fixed a problem with Einstein's theory, which stated that the universe began about 14 billion years ago, but revealed nothing about how it started. The hartle hawking hypothesis, on the other hand, employed a distinct theory called quantum mechanics to describe how the universe began from nothingness. The concept not only wrapped up loose ends, but it also produced another. As physicists analyzed the notion, it became evident that the Big Bang would create a limitless supply of universes rather than just one. According to the hartle hawking theory, some would be quite similar to our own, with Earth-like planets, societies, and even humans comparable to those found in our universe. One where someone exactly like you would be watching the same video or would be doing exactly what you are doing now, Hawking said in a statement. 
We are not down to a single, unique universe, but our findings imply a significant reduction of the multiverse to a much smaller range of possible universes. So, Hawking contributed to the theory that led to the concept of infinite parallel universes. That concept relies on something known as eternal inflation. In science, it is known that other universes could arise from a theory called eternal inflation. The notion behind inflation is that the universe swiftly expanded following the Big Bang, expanding like a balloon. Alexander Vilenkin, a cosmologist at Tufts University, was the first to propose the eternal universe. In a 2011 article for Scientific America, Vilenkin explained that inflation did not end everywhere at the same time. While it ended for all we can see from Earth 13.8 billion years ago, cosmic inflation is still going on in other locations. As mentioned before, the inflationary principle, according to the cosmologist, shows that the universe expanded fast after the Big Bang, much like a giant balloon. So, according to the theory, when the process of inflation becomes so vast, certain pockets of space may have ceased expanding at different times, while other parts continued to inflate. This would be similar to the development of bubbles across the cosmos, resulting in several separate bubble universes. These other bubble universes would have then drifted away from us, well beyond our ability to observe. Hawking said in an interview, the usual theory of eternal inflation predicts that globally our universe is like an infinite fractal with a mosaic of different pocket universes separated by an inflating ocean. He further added, the local laws of physics and chemistry can differ from one pocket universe to another, which together would form a multiverse. But I have never been a fan of the multiverse. If the scale of different universes in the multiverse is large or infinite, the theory can't be tested. So, according to the inflation theory, the origin of all the universes is the same. It means that the overall properties of each universe should be the same, and each universe should have the same average energy density, laws, symmetries, conserved quantities, and conservation laws, the same standard model, the same general relativity principles, and many other characteristics. Hawking also describes this in another statement and said, we are not down to a single, unique universe, but our findings imply a significant reduction of the multiverse to a much smaller range of possible universes. This makes the theory more predictive and testable, as Hertog told Cambridge that the physics that would account for infinite parallel universes breaks down when applied to the theory of eternal inflation. He said, when we trace the evolution of our universe backwards in time, at some point, we arrive at a threshold of eternal inflation, where our familiar notion of time ceases to have any meaning. With that, we have come to the end of our video. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share with us in the comments section below. If you like the content, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Until next time, have a great day and thank you for watching.